We had a pretty nice Thursday and as we head into Friday, conditions are going to be pretty nice as well. Low humidity is in the forecast, so that will make it feel pretty nice and comfortable here in the Wiregrass, despite temperatures warming into the upper 80s to lower 90s. And with that drier air in place, action radar is going to remain nice and dry going to the next couple of days in the second half of the week and that's when rain chances return but this is snow we have been watching is clearing off the coast still some showers for the big bend but that's about all we are tracking for us this evening and as we do go into the overnight that will likely dissipate as well dry conditions downtown dothan temperatures cooling into the lower 70s that northwesterly breeze has brought in some drier air so it is not out of the question for some locations to get down into the upper 50s by tomorrow morning here is what we are projecting for those low temperatures, mostly in the lower 60s, but some of the more northern and western locations do have a better chance of getting into the upper 50s. That's where the drier air moved in a little bit sooner and where the sky has cleared out for the most part. Going through the day tomorrow, sunshine's going to be dominating. High temperatures in the lower 90s by around 3 o'clock, still holding on to the middle to upper 80s by 6 o'clock. So either way, it is going to be a pretty good day to head to the pool to cool off, and especially since tomorrow is Friday. So Another reason why tomorrow is going to be a pretty good day and it is going to be a hot and dry day. Low week, uh, low rain chances are in for the weekend. Uh, it looks like on Saturday, maybe a stray shower Sunday. That rain chance increases to about 20% and then going into the start of the next work week. Higher storm chances do return and they will be increasing as we do head through the rest of the work weekend. That's a good thing because we still do have drought conditions developing across the southeast. We've had some improvement, but that moderate drought is still persistent over our area and even a severe drought developing over southern Georgia and we're about nine inches a little bit uh, more than that below where we should be for this time of the year. The frontal boundary that brought us the showers and storms earlier in the week that's starting to clear us off to the east. High pressure will be building in and keeping us pretty nice and dry for Friday and for the most part on Saturday, though the humidity will start to increase as the winds shift out of a more southerly direction tomorrow mostly a northerly to northeasterly direction, so that dry air is going to be staying in place, so feeling pretty comfortable despite the temperatures warming up pretty quickly. Already the mid-80s as we head past lunchtime, and we'll probably top out in the upper 80s to lower 90s for most of us, and then we'll start to cool off a little bit, but a little bit more mild as we go into Saturday morning because of an easterly to even southeasterly wind at times. We'll have a little bit of cloud cover down in the Crestview area, a few showers developing around Destin as well early in the morning and we could see a few more move in with the sea breeze front in the later part of the day. 63 degrees will be our low temperature for tonight. And again, some spots will be a little bit cooler than for tomorrow. 90 for that afternoon high temperature. Feeling pretty comfortable with the lower humidity and play. A few stray showers possible for Saturday. Sunday, we increase that chance to 20%. And then for Monday and Tuesday, right around 30% chances for scattered showers and storms. And then increasing as we go into Wednesday and for Thursday, where we will have a little bit more moisture to work with. So showers and storms will be more numerous. Now help those temperatures to be a little bit cooler, but it is going to be more humid. So it is going to be feeling pretty sticky. Well, you mentioned going to the pool.